Hi, um, we are from London, UK, and we've just spent 17 extraordinary days in Algeria. Uh, I think a lot of English people feel that Algeria may be a dangerous place to be, but it isn't if you follow the Algerian government guidelines. It was easy to get a visa, and we've had nothing but a wonderfully warm welcome from people. We've done two separate bits to our holiday. We've travelled in the north of Algeria, and then we went down to get an experience of the desert, and that was wonderfully contrasting. Um, probably want to say something. Well, in the north it's very interesting because obviously this has all been a very important part of the Mediterranean. Roman and Vandal and Byzantine time before the um, advent of Islam. And um, it's extremely interesting to have been the whole way across from Algiers to Tlemcen, which is almost on the Moroccan border. And then in the east, the whole way to Constantine, which is an extraordinarily interesting city set on the gorge with seven bridges. And then after that, we went back to Algiers and we went to Tipaza and Churchill with an excellent guide. And wonderful seafood. Wonderful seafood. In fact, the food has been very fresh and delicious everywhere. Wonderful fruit and vegetables and fish. An interesting, different variety of bread. Um, and if you're interested in the Roman period, there's a great site at um, Timgad and another one nearby at Tamaez, in addition to some sites in the north, like Jemila, for example. Um, so if you're interested in the Roman period, there's masses to see here in that and area. What's been a great privilege for us is the fact that there are so few tourists at these great historical sites. You feel like you're discovering it for yourself. Uh, it is, it, it is marvellous not to be surrounded by too many people and that's been a very important thing for us as we have travelled quite extensively in the Northern Hemisphere and there are places now in the world where there are just too many people. Um, we found it very easy to organise our trip through our travel agent here. Our, all our emails were answered very quickly and um, any concerns we have were explained and allayed. That was fine. And apart from Air Algerie, which sometimes changes their schedule, we, um, uh, travel has been very easy and very smooth. Um, I think uh, we have felt very welcome and very safe and we've been, had lots of interaction with people and been able to talk to people and hear their political views, hear their hopes for their country and that's been very interesting for us. Um, and also, I should just add, having been to the north, we went down to the south, we went to, yeah. well it's only a little way south, but Gardaia, which was very interesting and it's a seven villages there in the Nzab region and that was something extraordinary although I had already been to Gadames in Libya which is a similar sort of thing, an oasis town, very interesting. And then the great peace and wilderness of the desert was something that I'd always wanted to experience and it was extraordinary. We went camping and the stars at night was something I shall never ever forget. Um, and we had an extremely good guide. I'm interested in botany and he knew everything about medicinal plants which was marvellous for me. And um, he cooked the most incredible meals. Out of the back of his Land Rover came sumptuous meals, didn't they? And it was so quiet and peaceful. We, we, we hope to come back and do some more in, in Algeria because it's been a really extraordinary experience for us. I, I, I think also the um, Tassili and Najar, it really is the outstanding type of desert and rock scenery in the world, probably. It may be the better things than other deserts, I, I doubt it. I it's doubt absolutely it. absolutely stupendous. I have never seen, and it varied. There are sort of dark rock pinnacles, and then flat, um, extraordinary flat rock, and then these tremendous rock reliefs and rock paintings. You've, I'd seen them in books, but when you see them because you've walked to the site, it's a whole different thing. That was marvellous. 
Um, and so the contrast, yeah, this was setting off from Janet, is we, we saw these wonderful canyons which were like Monument Valley in the United States, massive peaks, um, flat ground, um, and then we went further in the direction of the Erg, as I think it is, um, and that is a stupendous experience because this is an Erg which is, I think, 24,000 square kilometres goes right down into Niger. It was, and that's it, a wonderful was, experience. it was tremendous, and also the peace of it. There were no, there were nobody else. There was just us mm -hmm. to enjoy it, which was very special. I felt very. I'm very lucky. I think I'm very lucky to have been here. All right. Well, thank you so much for your feedback, and would you highly welcome you back at any moment. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. When I was planning my trip to Algeria, I sent an email to four or five agencies, and I only got a reply from one. I've written it in French, maybe my French wasn't good enough, but I got a wonderful reply from Algeria to a 16, and they took charge of my trip and organized it very well. Um, anything else you want to add? C'est tout. C'est tout. Merci beaucoup.